Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be taking a quick look at Substratum, a new theme engine using the OMS uh, engine, pretty much. The overlay manager service will be pretty much used for almost real time uh, theme changing and application, which is pretty darn cool. It just requires a quick restart of the system UI and things will get applied pretty much immediately. If not, a reboot may be necessary. Uh, kind of contrary to the old layers manager, which is depreciated, uh, being replaced by a substratum here, you can see that they, the old one needed a reboot while this one does not. Only if your ROM supports the OMS theme engine, uh, which most custom ROMs do already, especially the pure Nexus ROM. But on stock Android ROMs for at least Nexus devices, uh, you, you'll be able to use the legacy component of substratum, which is just like layers. So there are quite a lot of themes on the Play Store so far. Uh, the couple of free ones up here and more so of the paid ones down below which I haven't tried any of but some of them I guess do look quite enticing and I may go ahead and purchase one and show it off to you guys uh, in another video but for now I've I've used the inversion ROM uh, not ROM there we are the inversion UI theme I've decided to put my phone on airplane mode because of uh, some notifications I might get which makes it look very untidy but I do have it installed here and we're going to take a look at it in the substratum app so there it is um, you'll see once you actually have downloaded the uh, theme off the play store you can actually um, there'll actually be an icon there and uh, you want to grant super user access of course uh, every time it, the substratum app actually updates you're going to need to do that again so you'll be greeted with the this card layout full of your themes so i've installed two the inversion ui theme and the navigation theme which i've already applied down here but as you can see currently, I don't have any other theme applied. You can tell everything is uh, quite stock, except for my little picture up there. It looks a bit gray, but uh, pretty much everything is quite stock. So you can tap on that inversion UI and it will greet you with a quick apply tab and you can swipe over to the overlay manager where you can pretty much individually select different overlays to apply to your phone. And you can do that quite easily. So we can do a quick apply and you'll select a base. So I guess different ones will have different kind of overlays for you. And so just like that, it just gave a little quick restart and it's not themed yet, but that's because I think I have disabled some of them. So it looks like they're all up to date. And if you go and toggle all the overlays, press that little paint button and then tap on build and enable. This will create the overlays for you. Well, this is what you should initially do anyway. Uh, I like using the individual selectors, especially if some of the themes have uh, customizable options for some of the overlays, which is definitely something you would want to check out before applying your default overlays from that quick uh, application screen. So usually this doesn't take too long. You can see a progress thing up at the bar up there. You can see that part is already gray. So assuming I just needed a restart of the system UI and that would have gone through fine. Now sometimes when you're creating and installing overlays, uh, some applications may force stop, but that is all right. All you have to do is press OK and just let it do its thing. So this is almost done. I'm going to say settings and then YouTube and it should be done. And it'll say they'll, it was compiled and there were no errors. And what we want to do, and it should do it itself, is restart the system UI. And as you can see, everything has turned, has been inverted. So if we unlock our phone, enter our pattern in, you can see our, it's taken away our uh, navigation bar theme, but we can apply that real quick. And everything else is themed to our delight. Everything just like that. So that is pretty awesome. So one last thing we'll check out is our other theme. So we're just going to hit back and we're going to check out the navigation bar theme. So I can say quick apply is not available, that's fine, because we need to choose one of these. And let's just take a look at Broken. Not sure if that's reference to a movie or anything, and you want to check that, and then you still want to scroll down a little bit. That's what confused me first time. I mean, if you want to scroll down, and you want to press that paint icon again, and tap on build and enable. So this only has to do one, so that's pretty good. And it should restart system UI once again. So this screen is getting really dirty. And we're going to put in our pattern. 
and you can see that our navigation uh, icons have changed if I can get a better view of that one there we are they look like yes it looks like it is actually literally broken and of course you can quickly change this as well you can select a different one such as let's have a look at better material check that scroll down a little bit press the paint bucket and then I think you can do build and update uh, that might work as well but Generally, I like to stick with build and enable. And that'll hopefully restart system UI once more. We're going to log in again and go back. And you can see our navigation bars have changed as well without a reboot necessary. Now this goes uh, for the same, well this goes as well for when your theme is actually updated from the Play Store, such as the inversion UI or navigate. Um, it will be prompted, you will actually get a notification saying that the theme has updated and you may need to just reapply or build an update instead of build and apply. Um, that might be your best way of going through things. So that was just a quick look at Substratum. Uh, there's probably some things I left out, which is, I guess, unfortunate, but you can definitely let me know down below. These are the things that I've kind of looked upon, these quick, um, well, this short time I've been using it and it's been pretty cool. Now I'll be hopefully wanting to try out more themes on the Substrata engine and let me know if you have any recommendations that I should check out. So thank you again uh, thank you guys again for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.